welcome back to my Parisian journey. I'm going to do another paring down video today and it is on, I just did my wardrobe thing that I'm going to experiment for two weeks, but um, I have a problem and I've shared it with you before, but I thought I would show it to you and it's going to be one of the more painful paring downs that I'm going to have to do and it's ridiculous, but some people will understand it because you have the same problem that I have. My problem is bags. Bags, not handbags, not purses and handbags. I have very few of those. I'm only keeping what I really love, so I'm down to like 10, but I can guarantee you I'm going to uh, probably pare that down to about seven purses and handbags. But this is a problem with little bags. Um, I don't even know what they're called. Makeup bags, um, different types of bags. I can't help but buy them because I don't know why it's so stupid but I'm going to show you my collection and then I'm going to pare it down because I've shared this before but I believe the secret to organizing is not finding a place for everything in the beginning it is paring down in the beginning and then the only way to me, to stay organized is confinement. I've talked about this before. Confine the area, okay, my arm's getting tired. Confine the area where you're gonna have something and then you can't add without taking away. I'm gonna go into that, but say I'm, I'm talking about like, um, okay, I have a small white box in my bathroom and that is my extra makeup. That's like my overflow. Like if I buy an extra mascara or if I have, you know, two bronzers that I'm not using right now, but I don't want to get rid of them. I have one small box. It's like five by seven and that, or maybe 12 by five or something like that. But that's it. That's the only, I, it, it's full right now. So I can't buy any more makeup. It's full. It's full. So it's ridiculous for me to keep buying bronzers. I have bronzers. If I hate them, I'll get rid of them. But these are just kind of, I don't even like bronzers that much. Well, anyway, forget that. Blah. I always do that. Like I start regurgitating words that don't make any sense. Okay, so I am going to show you this horrific situation. And then I'm going to go through them, not with you. I'm going to go through them late, in a minute. And then I'll show you the end product and I'll show you what I ended up doing. And it's really going to be painful because I love these things, but it's ridiculous what I've, my situation. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, I have three categories on this card table here, okay? So first category would be, and then I can move this. This is a big bag I have. Excuse me. This is a big bag I have. And it sits in the on the floor in the back of my closet. And it's full of like just small bags not all bags that you use but like bags when you want to return something I, I like to dig through here and just grab a bag okay but right now I've just got too many I need to organize them and figure out do I really need to keep them all one other thing I have stored in here are bags like um, like this is a bag that I can take on a trip and have it as a laundry bag. It's got a drawstring on the top, but it's really kind of big. And then um, this is another bag. Actually, this came from a hotel, and I don't know how I ended up. Oh, my husband brought it. It's probably a bag you're supposed to put your cleaning in at the hotel, and somehow he brought it home. That's another small bag. Anyway, lots of different kinds of bags that I might need for something. Like this is my small beach bag. Nothing's wrong with it. I will save it. But I need to go through this entire bag and pare it down because it's starting to get like too full. And I love this bag. It's real heavy duty. So I don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to go through that. So let's move that off the table. So that's number one. I have way too many of those kind of bags. Number two is this. I think I've shown this before. It's full of makeup bags. In fact, I think I might have already gone through this with y'all before. Obviously, I need to go through it again. This container down here should be enough for all these kinds of travel bags. What am I doing? I don't even travel that much. So I'm going to go through these, get rid of some, give away some, 
And that's going to be it, this. And the lid to this is in my closet. But of course, the lid is being stored under it because I'm piling up. So I'm going to go through this. So that's my second issue that's ridiculous and not going to work if I ever downsize my home and share a closet with my husband. I won't have room for this kind of stuff. This is my another huge issue. This, 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 and this is full of, let me turn around because that's kind of boring to look at, but that's a big, that's like a big shoe box. That's one of those white Ikea boxes. That's the size box I have my overflow makeup in, but this is travel items, and this is full of travel items, and this has some travel items in it. Okay, so obviously I have a problem. Oop. So obviously I have a problem. I'm going to have to go through and just pick out, you know, maybe one or two shampoo, travel shampoos, travel conditioners. Um, just, it's just full of just junk, like things from hotels and things like that. And I just don't need them because I have, I've got a shampoo and conditioner that I love so much that I don't even want to use the hotel ones. So why do I even need to keep the hotel ones that I've collected over the year or year? Um, anyway, I've just got way too much travel gear. And part of that, what's in all of those, it's just full of empty Ziploc bags because for some reason I think I'm going to have a shortage. Like I'm always afraid I'm going to be packing and I'm going to need one of the Ziploc bag, the quart size Ziploc bags for TSA and I'm not going to have one. So I probably have 20 of them in there. So I'm going to get rid of them and I'm going to pare down. Now I'm getting confused of what's even in these. Oh, another bag. Now this there's three of these that match, and one of my subscribers sent them to me. Love these. One of them is in my car, and I'll keep that one in the car. It's just got stuff. And um, there's two more sizes, so these I'll keep. But anyway, that goes in there. And in here, it's just stuff like, you know, stuff like this. Now, I need stuff like this, but I don't like, why do I keep this? It's, it's toothpaste, but yeah. It's just so much stuff, like a razor, an extra razor. I have another one of those Batiste things. One time I bought this, airbrush legs. Like I'm going to tan myself on the vacation. Actually, this isn't self-tanning. This is just to make your legs look better. I should have got ultra full size of that. Mega size, because my legs are just not what they used to be. And they weren't even good in the beginning. And here, just, okay, I've got like... Okay, here's like medicine or like a little Ziploc of different kinds of medicines. I probably have five Ziplocs of those that I make for each trip because I forget to look through here and see what I've got. Um, you know, hand lotion. There's just a lot. And then there's two more boxes full, which I can't even... Well, I'll show you how pathetic. Look at this. This is my fear of running out of Ziploc bags. Why? I don't even know. I'm scared to open this one. Uh-huh. The fear of running out of Ziploc bags continues. Okay, I'm going to go through all these four containers, and I want to say I'm going to pare it down to this, because I don't even know why I have a shoe box. I'm going to pare it down to this box, and then one of these containers of, you know, all the items I like to take, and then one of them, it, and if the other one fits in there, it, I will keep it. If not, I won't. So you can see that I have a lot to do and I'm a little afraid, but I'm going to go get a garbage bag and start working on this. And then in the end, we'll see if I'm even successful because, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be. We'll see. Okay, I started trying to go through the toiletry, the four toiletry, the two boxes and the two toiletry holders, and there was no way. So I decided to empty them and start from there, and I just thought I would show you what was in those four containers that probably to the naked eye would look like I was organized if you just saw those all stacked together. Okay, I finished my uh, cleaning. So I've got it down to three items. This is all my travel items. Very neat in here. This is what I always put makeup brushes in. 
all my items are in there and it, they're all categorized and it's awesome so that will that says travel right here with the lid secure is all of my makeup bags that I kept I had gone through those before but I just hadn't you know I just got messy so anyway they're all there and then here in this Longchamp bag, I decided not to use my Louis Vuitton bag. In here is um, different other kinds of sacks and bags and different things that I just keep to have on hand. Um, not necessarily for travel, just for whatever. I just like to have a few bags in there. And this bag is much thinner than the Louis Vuitton bag. And I folded my couple Louis Vuittons in there in there. And I just keep them because they're very nice bags. I probably will get rid of them someday, but not yet. So anyway, that big mess, um, everything that was on this table in that photo is in here. And there's a big bag of trash. And then I managed to do it. So I feel really good about it. So go and get organized. It'll make you feel better. And you have no idea what you can accomplish in a very short amount of time. Good luck.